What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to check several new updates about the upcoming Golden Gala event, as well as the exclusive rewards and events that you can get when you play in the new sub-servers. I will also share some rumors about the upcoming gold cards from the Fist of the North Star collaboration event at the end of the video. But before we start the video, do you have problems AFK grinding in ROX? Do you always worry that you may overcharge or the battery of your phone, tablet, or laptop may overheat? Do you worry about your electricity bill when grinding using your personal computer that is running for days non-stop? Or do you encounter intermittent connection from your internet service provider which disconnects your character when AFK grinding? Well, if that is the case, then UG Phone can solve all of your problems. UG Phone is a cloud phone that runs independently in the cloud and it does not consume the memory or battery of your physical device. Even if you close the UG Phone app, your game will still continue to run in the cloud, which makes this the perfect phone for AFK grinding for 24 hours, 7 days a week non-stop. Nice. You can also run multiple instances of UG Phone in one account, which allows you to play and grind multiple games simultaneously. As you can see, my Shura and Royal Guard are AFK grinding at the same time. UG Phone is available in Google Play for Android, App Store for iOS, Windows Store for PC, and you can also use a web browser to run UG Phone. So if you want to try out UG Phone, you can use my link shown in the description below. And you can also use my invitation code which really helps me out. So thank you guys and thank you UG Phone for the sponsor. Now let's get back to the video. First, let's check out the details of the Golden Gala Episode 2. Right off the bat, the details are already confusing. Because as you can see, we can get a free warp effect which is the card trick and a free wake effect which is called the Ecstasy of Gold by simply opening a memoir and signing in and greeting happy 3rd anniversary in the game. This seems easy right? Well, my main question about this is the VIP sign-in at the top of the description. What exactly does that mean? Do you need to purchase a Kafra VIP first in order to get these rewards? If so, then most of the players will not be able to get these free warp and wake effects. Even me, as I don't even use a Kafra VIP pass in this game. So again, I'm not sure if this is strictly for VIP users only, but having the VIP sign-in in the description seems like these rewards are exclusive to VIP users. Uncle Roger said now. <laughs> Moving on to the next one, which is the limited gift pack in limited time event. This event is basically for spenders. Because in order to join the event or lottery, you need to purchase a return ticket in the official top-up site of ROX. The rewards from this lottery are rare cards, costumes, and mounts. From limited time blue cards and gold cards to limited time costume and mounts. So if you are interested, make sure to take note of the availability time of the event. Do note though that the items or cards within one year will not participate in this return event, meaning the cards and costumes for the slime, one punch man and larva collaboration event are not included in the options. Aww. On the other hand, ROX will host a community event as they will give away 500 raffle entries worth $499 for free. The event rules are simple and are listed in the post. So if you want to join this lottery event but don't want to spend money in the game, make sure to comment your UID in the Facebook post to have an entry in the community event. The event deadline for this is on June 10 and the lucky winners will be announced on June 11. Moving on to the Golden Gala Episode 3, now this is the event that I am looking forward to since I really like the costume for the male character. In addition to that, this event is so easy that you only need to consume 2k Odin's Blessing for 5 days and you can get the full set of costumes. Now that is what you call a giveaway. This event starts on June 12, so make sure to save up your Odin's Blessing if you need to. Up next is the exclusive rewards and events in the new sub-servers. Now I'm pretty sure that a lot of players are waiting for this. As usual, there are pre-registration links for the two new sub-servers. 
so make sure to pre-register now. The pre-registration links will be included in the video description below. The rewards that you can get from the pre-registration are the following items. Make sure to take note of the redemption code validity of the CD case as they will expire once they exceed the mentioned dates. Moving on to the exclusive events, there are a lot of limited time events in the new servers. So for the players who are asking if there will be a diamond refund on the new sub-servers, here is the confirmation from ROX. Thank you. On top of that, you will also get the Blazing Party event which is strictly focused on pet progression. Nice. And you will get a 300% card drop rate bonus during the event. Sana all. You will also have the life skill critical boost wherein when you are doing mining, fishing, and gardening, there is a chance to double the materials that you get. Oh my god! Wow! So again, make sure to pre-register in the links provided by ROX and make sure to capitalize on the events that you can do either as a pay-to-win or a free-to-play. Now, moving on to our last topic which is the gold cards for the upcoming collaboration event. As you all know, there will be 16 collaboration cards in this event. 8 blue cards and 8 gold cards. For now, we will just talk about the gold cards in this video. These are just rumors about the set effect of the gold collaboration cards. I haven't really seen any official post from ROX about this in their Facebook page or in their website itself. So I will just call this as rumors and leaks. Based on the rumors that I've heard and some of the leaks that I've seen, the upcoming gold cards are very very strong and overpowered. Majde. And I am not being dramatic about this as I've seen the damage and buff that the effect does. If these rumors are true, then the gap between an F2P and a pay to win will grow wider. Not that it's not wide enough already, but if these set effects are coming to the game, players will definitely feel the gap in damage in PvE and PvP. Just to reiterate it again, these are set effects. The keywords are set effects. So in order for the damage and buff to trigger, you need to equip multiple gold cards at the same time. Here is how the set effect of the cards work. This is similar to the Demon Slayer cards wherein Tanjiro and Zenitsu will appear and help the user fight in battle. That is also the case for these gold cards as there is a chance to summon one of the characters in the Fist of the North Star and fight along with you. The reason why I am saying that this is OP is because the damage that the summon character can deal can reach up to 2400%. What? I repeat, the damage is up to 2400%. That is a very very high damage multiplier. Am I a joke to you? That's just the damage from the set effect. After triggering that effect, you will gain a 50% increase in your physical attack and 50% increase in crit damage bonus. And that will last for 10 seconds. Are you kidding me? So not only can you deal a very very high damage, but you will also get a significant buff lasting for 10 seconds. I mean, that set effect is so overpowered. Oh my god! The other set effect buffs from the other cards are getting a 50% increase in magic attack and a 25% increase in final magic penetration as well as a 50% increase in physical attack and a 25% increase in final physical penetration. And the last set effect buff is it increases the damage against MVP and mini monsters by 20%. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! All of these buffs will last for 10 seconds. Again, these are all rumors and have not yet been confirmed by ROX. But just imagine having these gold cards in the new server. The player that can use these set effects will dominate the PvP and PvE space. What are your thoughts on the rumored set effects of the new collaboration gold cards? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and if you want to see more ROX content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. GG! You're a superhero.